The steel beasts that conquered the trenches, vivid colorized photos reveal the early WWI tanks that changed history. Despite constantly breaking down, Stunning colorized images of tanks on the battlefield during the First World War reveal the power of some of history's early armored vehicles, and the brave soldiers who first used them. The photographs illustrate the dynamic realities of the war, with one showing legendary Lt. Col. George S. Patton standing in front of his first tank battalion and a French Renault tank during the summer of 1918. While a young Lt. George S. Patton, Jr., became interested in tank warfare and pushed it so successfully that he was assigned to establish a tank school after the United States joined the war in April 1917. By the time World War II came around, Patton was a tank warfare expert, according to National Archives. Known as Old Blood and Guts, Patton died of injuries received in a car crash in December 1945 and is buried with his men in a cemetery in France. The first ever tanks built to overcome the terrain that ordinary military vehicles could not pass, were unleashed onto the battlefields for the first time during the Battle of fleurs Crisolette on September 15, 1916. Still in their design infancy and plagued with mechanical errors, only 32 of the 49 tanks shipped to the Somme took part in the initial assault and only 9 made it across no man's land. Their introduction signaled a new, deadly air in modern warfare that would swing the pendulum in the Allied forces' favor in the harsh, deadlocked trenches of northern France. The fascinating photos were expertly colorized by electrician, Royston Leonard, 55, from Cardiff, Wales, who said that adding color to the pictures would modernize them. Tanks are a part of modern armies the world over dash this said shows them right at the beginning when they were first used in battle, he said. We see the change on the battlefield from old-style war, to a fast-moving one, changing warfare forever. The advancement of tanks during the First World War was a response to the draw that had developed on the Western Front. Prior to the war, which lasted for four years between July 28, 1914 and November 11, 1918, motorized vehicles were still relatively uncommon, and their use on the battlefield was initially restricted especially with heavier vehicles. Another picture shows two tankmen in an open tank Renault Feet-17 in France, 1918, and a tank plowing its way through a trench and toward the German line near Saint-Michel. A British tank can be seen crossing the trenches in Flanders, Belgium, and a long queue of soldiers lining behind a First World War tank. On August 23, 1914, the French Colonel Jean-Baptiste Eugène S. Chen who created the French tank arm, declared the victory will belong, in this war, to the one of the two belligerents who will be the first to succeed in mounting a 75mm gun on a vehicle capable of moving in all types of terrain. Royston said, the first tanks were slow and would break down constantly, which was hell for the crew, but they worked to turn the battle. They did not know how to use them and it would take about a year after their first use to iron out problems with the tanks and their correct use on the battlefield. In the First World War, tanks had first appeared at the Battle of fleurs Crisolette in September 1916. Tanks played a very important role during the war as they increased mobility on the Western Front and eventually broke the stalemate of trench warfare. 